Hello! So my new addiction is a German television series. It's called Bad Banks and it is a slick, sophisticated six-part series that takes a look at the male-dominated world of banking but from a young and talented female banker's perspective. It premiered, premiered at the 2018 Berlin Film Festival. It's been snapped up all around the world. Critics and audiences alike are just loving this fast-paced series. So Bad Banks is about the European financial market and the series opens with a sort of a global financial crisis kind of drama. The riots on the streets and the banks have run out of cash. So we go back in time to lead up to this point. The cast is led by Paula Beer who won Best Actress at the Bavarian Television Awards earlier in the year. She plays young banker Jana Lycan and Jana is fired from her job for upstaging her drunken boss but quickly thanks to the help of a female banking veteran she finds a new job but one that she has to prove herself in and very quickly so the series looks at just how far you go for success you know what what would you sacrifice your health your values your loyalty your relationships turns out that Yana will sacrifice quite a lot um, the series explores things you'd expect of this nature greed ego competitiveness and it's just fascinating watching what this kind of pressure can do to a human and these humans these characters are complex they're driven and they're as a type as they come so bad banks kicks off on tuesday june 5th bill nighy oh don't you just love him i'll watch him in anything i even managed to get through love actually because he was in it he is starring as an inspector in an adaptation of peter Ackroyd's 1994 novel the limehouse Gollum. And if you love a murder mystery, you'll just want to curl up and watch this on Saturday, 9th of June. It's kicking off at 8.30 p.m. So the Limehouse Gollum is a period flick. It's like a Baroque Victorian whodunit. It's set in London's West e East End. Um, it's not going to set the world on fire, premise-wise, but it's nicely crafted and handsome period piece, and it rocks along nicely. Um, it's all so sort of quite gruesome just warning you, and uh, it's fun watching well-known names of the time like Karl Marx and Jack the Ripper um, just wander in and out of this story. So enjoy, see you next week.